Hello everyone, welcome to our guide on adenium soil media. Today we will explore the best soil mix for growing beautiful and healthy adenium plants, also known as desert roses. Adeniums are popular succulents loved for their striking flowers and unique shape. So let's get into the world of adenium soil. To grow adenium successfully, we need soil that drains well just like their natural habitat. The ideal soil should have good air flow, allow water to pass through easily and provide essential nutrients. Here are the key components you will need for a suitable soil mix. Number 1. Well aerated and well drained soil. This means the soil should have enough air pocket for roots to breathe and allow excess water to escape. Number 2. Rich in nutrients. Adeniums need nutrients for healthy growth. Compost is a great source of nutrients, but we shouldn't use too much in the soil mix. When preparing the soil mix, keep in mind that adeniums like some moisture retention, but not too much. The soil should retain some water, but it shouldn't be waterlogged, especially for the newly planted adeniums or during winter. Now let's talk about the two types of components for the soil mix. One. Moisture retentive components, these include cocoa peat, cocoa chips, barmy compost, cow dung compost, leaf compost, and topsoil. Avoid using too much topsoil. Number 2. Non retentive components, these include sand grit, river sand, stone chips, and coal. These help with drainage. Remember, a good drainage is critical for adeniums, so aim for a mix with 50 to 70% of draining component. For nutrients, use compost but don't exceed 20-25% to of the total mix. Make sure the particles used in the mix aren't too small, as this can limit air flow. Adequate air circulation is essential for healthy plants. Now let's see how I prepare my cocoa peat and cocoa chips. Remember to be careful when using sharp objects. If you can't find cocoa peat or cocoa chips in the market, don't worry, I will show you a way to make them at home. Here I am removing the top shell of a coconut and cutting it into pieces. Soak them in fungicide mix for 24 hours and squeeze out excess water. A little fungicide in the soil mix can help prevent diseases. For my adenium obesum, I use two parts of stone chips. one part of lip compost, one part of cocoa peat, and one part of vermicompost. Let's mix them together. Add a little fungicide to the mix and mix them again. Now I will plant an adenium obesum that I uprooted a few days ago. The weather is cloudy again, so I need to finish quickly. I was hoping to finish early, let's watch till the end to see what happens. Now I am squeezing out all the excess water from the cocoa chips and mixing it with other components.
For the arabicum soil mix, you will need one part of stone chips, one part of cocoa chips and one part of leaf compost. You can add a small amount of vermicompost but I try to avoid it for my arabicum soil. Arabicum tend to grow taller if you give them nitrogen based fertilizer and vermicompost contains more nitrogen. Now I am planting an arabicum plant using the soil I just prepared. I was worried about the rain and it started pouring heavily. But luckily I managed to finish my work even during the rain. Remember to keep your newly planted plants in the shade for now. By using the right adenium soil mix and watering appropriately, you will create an optimal environment for your plants to thrive. Enjoy the beauty of their stunning flowers and unique desert rose characteristics. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gardening videos. Happy gardening.